Hey everyone, it's Kenji, and I'm gonna take a little bit of time to talk to you about some outdoor wok burners. So, if you follow my channel, you've probably seen me cooking on a, a couple of these guys. Um, for the past few weeks, I've been testing these outdoor wok burners. Um, so, the first question is, why would you need an outdoor wok burner? So, in Chinese restaurants, and, and I want to make it clear that this does not apply to all Chinese cooking, um, but in Chinese restaurants, frequently they will have very, very powerful burners. Um, and that's important for stir-frying for a number of reasons. First of all, it allows you to stir-fry without steaming your food. There's enough energy going in there that your food um, fries and se sears instead of se steams. Um, it also allows you to get what's called wok hei, which is the... Um, it's a sort of elusive thing, but it's kind of the flavor of smokiness that you get um, when the oil... Uh, vaporizes when you when you basically when you stir fry over a big open flame and the oil vaporizes and the flame leaps into the wok it gives it a sort of very subtle smokiness um, or sometimes intense smokiness um, and that's sort of one of the hallmarks of uh, restaurant style um, wok cooking and that's one of the things that I like to try and capture at home um, of course it is very possible to cook indoors in a wok on a home burner um, most people in China don't own restaurant burners unless they're at a restaurant uh, so you don't need a wok burner to make good Chinese food but if you want to make that restaurant style stuff it helps um, so I tested out five different models. Um, when I first went into it, I thought that BTUs were going to be the main thing, that the higher the BTUs, uh, the better. But it turns out that actually burner placement is really important. So this guy is a 20,000, uh, sorry, 200,000 BTU burner. Listen to that. It's designed for um, brewing beer. So you put a big pot on top of here. The problem here is this which is that when you, the burner ring is so wide that when you put a wok on it, um, you end up losing a lot of heat out the sides. Um, I actually did a test with all these burners where I basically put um, uh, a, couple, a couple liters of water inside the wok, tested how long it took to come from uh, room temperature up to 100 degrees Celsius. Um, and what I found was that the 200,000 BTU burner, it took about a minute to heat the water up that much. But this guy, which is only a 160,000 BTU burner. Um, actually only took 45 seconds to bring the water up to the same uh, degree. So this one is about twice as efficient um, as this one is as far as um, the amount of energy that actually makes it into, into the wok goes. And that's because this has this centralized wok ring, uh, centralized burner that heats up the bottom of the wok, which is what you want to do. And relatively little heat is lost out the sides. Um, when I say relatively little, I mean relatively little because woks, uh, by their very nature, are relatively inefficient um, tools. Uh, if you actually do the calculation, only about 4% of the energy um, that this big burner produces actually makes it into the wok, and only about 9 or 10% of the energy that this guy produces makes it into the wok. With the power flamer, you can see that the heat builds up from the center of the wok. The, the, the heat mainly is in the center and it builds up around the edges, which is what you want for controlled cooking. Um, and then the wok hay comes from mainly from throwing the food through the flame in the back and letting the, the fire lick into the inside of the wok. On this guy, on one of these wide burners, you can see that the wok heats up pretty much all around its surface pretty, fit, pretty quickly. It's not concentrated in one place or another. Um, that is actually not ideal for wok cooking. That's a sort of inefficient way to cook and, it's a, and it gives you a little bit less control over the heat that's going into your food. So this is not a bad burner. It's called the Gas One. Um, it is designed for boiling big pots of water and for that it's great, but it is not very good for cooking in a wok. I don't recommend it. The other problem with these burners is that because of the wide ring, um, the flame comes out this way, and if you're trying to stir fry, you end up burning your fingers. Uh, really, I mean, it's really, really tough. I had to wear welding gloves to be able to effectively stir fry in here. Um, whereas with something like this, it has this built-in heat guard. So even when you're fi firing on really high heat here, none of the heat is going to come out this way towards your hands. So you can stay comfortable. All you need is like a kitchen towel to stay comfortable while you're stir frying. Um, so this, by the way, is the Power Flamer 160EI from uh, OutdoorStirFry.com. Um, this would be my number one recommendation. It's 160,000 uh, BTUs. It is very industrial. You don't want to leave it out in the rain like I did because it'll rust and now I have to get rid of that somehow. Uh, but it does the job really well. The other really nice thing about this guy is that it has a built-in pilot. So. 
That's nice because when you're stir frying, you very frequently, you know, there's this misconception that stir fries always take place over the highest heat. Um, frequently, you're going to want to adjust the heat. So sometimes really high, sometimes really low, sometimes off. And this allows you to do that without having to reach in there with a, um, with a lighter every time because the pilot stays on. Um, the other advantage that this guy has is that the gas control valve is right here at the wok so I can be cooking with one hand and adjust with the other just like you would do in a restaurant whereas um, every other burner I tested such as this guy you have to first of all go in there with a manual lighter to light it every time you every time you accidentally turn it off or adjust the flame too low and then to adjust the flame you got to reach over here to the tank which when you're stir frying if you've ever stir fried with high heat you know that things can go from perfectly cooked to burnt in just a matter of seconds. So you really want to have that control right at the wok, right at your fingertips where you want it. Power Flamer, OutdoorStirFry.com. This guy is about $180 plus shipping. Um, the other one that I would recommend is a little bit cheaper. It is this guy, the Eastman outdoor kahuna burner um, this one is about uh, 130 bucks um, what I like about this one is that it is solidly constructed um, it's nice to look at it's easy it's transportable the legs telescope um, and even though it's only 65,000 um, BTUs the nice thing is that the flames are concentrated in the center so this one actually heats very efficiently um, much more efficiently than the than the big more powerful burners do so if you know and unless you're cooking for more than say six to eight people you're not really going to need anything more than 65,000 BTU that's plenty of heat uh, to produce wok hay and to produce you know cook a stir fry for your family um, this guy can handle a little bit more than that um, but they're both solid options the only downside of this one is that it's a little bit low so if I was going to uh, use this one permanently, I would probably either install it on a separate table, um, the legs shorten down and you can put it on top of another table, or you can, um, it has a rack in the bottom so you can attach it uh, to your barbecue table, something like that. All right, so these are my picks. Um, that's it, yeah, and, and, I, and I'll, cut, I'll cut through, if I did this right, you'll have seen some footage of, uh, infrared camera how it heats these various how the how these various burners work um and you'll also see some footage of how i uh cook in them so there you go power flamer from outdoorstirfry.com will be my number one pick uh if you want to spend a little bit less money and something want something that looks a little bit nicer and is more portable the kahuna eastman kahuna burner um there you go all right see you later guys gals non-binary pals